Samaritan is a pretty cool but unknown name. Two elements that point out to something fresh, something new, and that's what we're getting from the out-of-the-ordinary superhero movie starring a much older Rocky in the lead role as a disgraced superhero in his later stages in life, navigating through the chaos together with the jam-packed supporting cast members alongside him. Not a superhero we needed, but maybe one we wanted for a long time now. You were never gonna stick to our plan! You want me to call it in? Don't worry about it. Recap Over the course of his long year, with more than 30 years in the movie industry, Sylvester Stallone is finally getting the superhero movie he deserves, with adequate powers of course. Stallone kicked off his career in the relatively low-budget and grounded Rocky movie, a movie that pushed him through the ranks and made him the action star he is today. A huge step in his career was also the Rambo franchise, as well as Cobra and Demolition Man projects which all contributed to him becoming known for what kind of a role he was born to play in the movie industry. However, he didn't stop there as he didn't stop there. He was part of two blockbuster movies in the role as a leader of the Ravagers in Guardians of the Galaxy after not managing to avoid the MCU sweep on the big screen and in the iconic Judge Dredd. In the movie, he'll both serve as the star of the movie but also under his Balboa production banner as the producer of the movie as well. Over the last few months, he could be seen talking about the movie more and more, which is understandable since the movie is ever so close to releasing after a few delays happening. First, the filming of the movie was rescheduled because of the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020, and then the schedule of the cast members, and so on and so on. He gave the fans plenty to look forward to, as he said that this movie will be somewhat of a different kind of superhero movie. There are a lot of unknown details about the movie, which are all in conjecture. There isn't even a trailer as of yet, but we're sure that it's coming to us very soon. But all that aside, we are here today to share with you all the bits and pieces about the movie and tell you everything we know so far about it. You're wrong. You broke all our hearts. Release date. The road of the movie has been long and tough, as we mentioned before delays occurred for various reasons. However, we can be happy as the movie has been in the filming process for a while now, after the first attempt at it in November 2020. So knowing that the production of the movie is on the way, and in the final stages, the confirmed release date about the movie, set to be on August 26, 2022, seems very convincing. That is, if everything goes according to plan and no further delays occur in the near future. So with that in mind, and the fact that not a single footage has been released, no teaser, nothing, keep an eye out for anything new as something of the sort should be coming very soon. We think we'll be talking about everyone when we say that we're all so eager to see what the hype is all about. After all, Sylvester is in the lead role, so the movie should be very good. However, we'll still have to wait and see for ourselves, right? Cast and Crew One thing is for sure, the cast group will be filled with actors from around the world, an empirical squad of gangbusters. We all know that Sylvester Stallone will be in the lead role as the late-in-life grizzled superhero, with Javon Walton serving as his right hand in the movie. However, we still don't know who he will be playing in the movie. The most interesting thing about the cast is the supporting characters, which will be what tipped the skills of this movie being worth the watch. First, we have Martin Starr, who, as we recall, is not a stranger to superhero movies after his appearances in the MCU Spider-Man franchise, 2008's The Incredible Hulk, as well as his involvement in the classic and cult series Freaks and Geeks. These are the confirmed cast members so far, but we also expect to see young child star Moses Aris, best known for his role in Hannah Montana as Rico Suave. Coming straight from Orange is the New Black, Daska Polanco is yet another possible character who could be part of the movie, an actress who's bound to grace the audiences with her presence ahead of her next project, In the Heights. Pilu Azbek, known for his role as Euron Greyjoy in Game of Thrones, is yet another actor who's expecting to be joining the scene when the movie hits, and fans suspect that he'll be playing the villain in the story. And lastly, we have NFL star Jared Audrick, who is said to also have a role in the movie, maybe another villainous character in the movie, judging by his beastly appearance. That is everything we know about the cast side of things, but we're more than sure that there will be plenty of new additions to the cast, with even more confirmed actors joining in. So what are you following us for? Because you're going to listen to what I've got to say! I'm not going to listen to nothing! 
You betrayed the code. Ravagers don't. Plot. There are not many details known about the actual plot of the movie, but there have been some hints and details as to what it might entail. For starters, the plot will be an original story written by Braggy F. Shoot, who is known for his previous works as he's penned Nicolas Cage's fantasy adventure Season of the Witch in 2011 and 2019's Escape Room, so in all likelihood, we should expect something of the sort. As for the setting of the movie, within the universe where everything is taking place, a calamity has occurred around 20 years ago in which Stallone's character was involved after which he goes missing. Samaritan will tell a story of a young man who, as we said before, will be played by Javon Walton, who will cross paths with Stallone's superhero in his later years, with him going by the name of Stanley Kaminsky. Sadly, this is everything that has been said about a movie in the form of a short synopsis, a detail shared by the director of the movie, Julius Avery. And it's understandable why we have so little, as Samaritan is a completely new property, nothing connecting it to almost every other superhero production over the last two decades so there's no source material to help us in our search as to what the movie will look like. We'll just have to wait and see for ourselves when the movie comes out, however, in a recent turn of events, we caught a glimpse of one scene from the movie, a single image that features Stallone as Samaritan involved in a superhero-like business in a tunnel where we expect something incredibly dangerous to happen or has happened. The movie itself has been described as bone-crunching, which put together with the differences this movie said to have when compared to the other superhero movies out there, we should expect this project to be one of a kind, a stripped down form of a movie, than what we're used to up until now. Which is not a bad thing, change is always a good thing, right? Something out of the ordinary, a different take on the genre, which we think will be as exciting as Stallone's prime days of killing hundreds of people with only his bayonet knife in his hands. Judging by the fact that Sylvester is no longer in the killing machine shape he used to be, depicting an older man taking more than he can handle might prove to be just the thing we needed after Logan, which saw Hugh Jackman in the same role as Sylvester Stallone. On a related note, tell us down in the comments below what are your thoughts on this new superhero project we're hearing about for the first time, and what are the things you would like to see in the movie, all of which could lead to it being a blockbuster like the one Stallone deserves. And also don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon if you'd like to see more videos like this in the future. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.